to do a quick little video on the installation process of my Garmin 93 SV on a Ranger RT 188 2019 boat. Um, obviously, I already have it installed. I it was kind of spur of the moment hooking it up. My stepdad Gary was over, like, hey, look, let's throw this stuff on. Didn't bust out the camera, nothing like that. So I figured after it's installed, kind of show you guys how we did it. And hopefully if um, you guys have this similar boat, um, really installing any graph probably would be uh, pretty helpful just to give you an idea what you might be getting into. So there's the unit on the boat. And mount it up so we'll uh, get to showing you guys how we got her installed here it is Garmin 93 SV pretty nice this is actually i'll show you while we're here this is my this is the old unit that i had at the uh console of the boat it was a hummingbird 999 ci uh, it was all right i didn't really have many issues with it at all but just wanted to upgrade been really wanting to try out the garmin's so figured why not christmas gift to myself but i'll show you guys back here just starting out got the old uh, got the transducer installed now this would be a time when you guys could leave your comments concerns because what we were confused on is the owner manual said that you wanted it at least 15 inches away from your motor but to be as close to the center of the boat as possible but without being around any of these uh strakes or anything like that that would cause interference so my old unit transducer was right here so kind of just moved it over halfway and it's just pretty far out from the center of the boat but that's pretty much the best we could do with uh like what we're working i mean what i'm working with that's pretty much the best i could do so hopefully that'll that'll be good enough but going back up here to the front to the console so basically what we did is we unhooked the old unit obviously took the bracket and all that stuff off unhooked all the wiring and then the wire for the uh, the uh, hummingbird transducer, what I did, got electrical tape and paracord, tape paracord to that wire. And my stepdad was at the back of the boat, Gary. Gary. <laughs> and we basically just worked the wire and rope through so that way we could have the rope back there to run the new wiring for the Garmin up front so basically once we got everything unhooked up under here had to remove this little like I don't even know what the heck that's called but the wire ran through there and then we had to remove the fuse box and pull the fuses out to be able to work inside there we did not have to remove the throttle switch or any of this stuff, which was nice. We did have to remove the cup holder to be able to get down in there, which just a couple screws. This here is pretty easy, couple screws, and then two, uh, four screws on the inside, super easy. And then when we got back here to the back of the boat, we had to remove this cover to be able to run the wire 
through. So basically got it out, got the paracord, and then pulled the paracord back through, through here. And then we basically, he was at the back, I was up here at the front, just worked it all the way back up, up here, and then connected all the uh, wiring. Which the wiring actually was not as bad as I expected. I thought that was going to be the hardest part, but it actually wasn't that bad. But yeah, for the Ranger boat, all we had to do, the Ranger RT-188, fuse box, cup holder, and then that cover on where like the steering and all your other electronic uh, cords come out. But the only other thing too that we kind of had to modify is um, this mount here i didn't want it mounted inside the in the dash because one i would i would have to cut a way uh, bigger hole and actually i don't think anymore would fit yeah it wouldn't fit but the only thing really we had to do is mount this garmin bracket onto the the back uh the uh, back of the console here and then i had to drill a new hole oh wait let me think no i did not never mind I used the same hole that was drilled into this for the hummingbird and I was able to fit the cords through. I just had to drill, um, yeah, so I had to drill pilot holes in this piece here for the bracket, ran those four in there. It's on there nice and good. So that was the installation process. I'll show you guys pretty much the, uh, the wiring and stuff actually wasn't like that bad i'll show you guys here pretty pretty easy honestly so if you get down under here basically this this is the wiring for the uh the garmin now so this is where the old hummingbird was hooked to, this orange cable with this fuse. So all you did, hook the red to it, crimp it down, and then the ground just goes up here to this uh, electrical um, input here. So just had to buy some of those, crimp that on, hook it up, good to go. And then with the Garmin, I don't know if you guys know or not, which this was news to me, is this stuff here is if the blue and brown is to be able to like hook up to other other uh graphs if you have other garmin graphs and then to be able to like hook up to your motor to see like rpms and all that kind of stuff but i am not going to do that so overall it was honestly it was pretty pretty easy i was just time consuming tedious but hey got her done so yeah this is the garmin 93 sv installed on the ranger rt 188 definitely would if you can have two people because that would be pretty tough to do with one person especially when you're trying to like pull the wire and help like feed the wire through that would be tough but could be done it probably would just take obviously a little bit longer but uh yeah, so as far as uh everything that's just how it how it uh how it is. It's not not too bad. I'm mean, definitely excited to get uh to using these garments. I've always wanted to try them out, so we'll see uh see how I like it and and yes, it does turn on. I already tried it. <laughs> so, I'll probably do another short little video um once I figure out the unit, get more uh comfortable with it and then i'll probably do a little review on that but i just want to do a quick little video on showing you guys how for this boat how we ran everything through and honestly how easy it was it wasn't too bad so appreciate it appreciate the uh appreciate you guys watching the video and appreciate you guys uh that follow me on instagram 